because we have um, representatives from all parts of the world. People are doing things in different ways, in their own ways. So it is important if you have a such gathering, then people will definitely learn from each other. The way I'm, we are doing it in our country is probably different from the way others are doing it. So it's going to be sharing of things that we are doing in our different ways. So I think it's very, very important yeah, to learn from each other. Particularly, there's a lot of vulnerabilities um, of children related with the built environments and let's say urban planning or the force of urban planning um, in a good and a bad way. Um, and so for example, there's a lot of issues around transportation, road safety, lack of uh, play, public spaces, uh, food, obesity, etc. So these are all, all like new areas of work that we see that are related with how, how cities have to deal with this. And, and so we, we see, it is interesting to see that um, city planners or urban managers and health specialists are here at the summit to think about that together because it's true that it's not something you you will find solutions uh, for from one sector only. We have to include everybody. We can build the cities for children by including the children in decisions listen to them, involve them, and also support them. That will really help because they also have an idea. They have a perspective. They have a decision that they can always input. And they have that intelligence yeah, that they can contribute. For UNICEF, it's very important that um, children's voice is heard uh, because it's, a, it's, a, it's a, one, one of the main components of child rights is to be heard, that every child is heard. So it's also linked with that every child is heard, so it means the most disadvantaged or, or the children with disabilities that we always think about uh, their perspective. Um, but I, I think what is uh, particularly relevant for cities then is that um, it's not only about um, giving them access to service, it also looked like how accessible the city is as, um, as a public space or the, all, everything that's around transportation and uh, that, that is also, also very important for children. I think we just um, are not used to doing it, but it actually is very doable. I think you need to start small and start with a few champions of this idea. So you find your allies who believes in this concept, you do a project and you prove that it makes a difference. Many themes on this summit and I think some of them might be more important than others. For example, we must learn how to listen to the kids because they are experts in their own environment. They know what they want to, but we have to be better asking them, what do you want to do? And transform that into city planning. Another thing that is important message from this uh, conference is maybe not a lack of money or lack of ideas. I think it's about attitudes. Grown-ups, they have old-fashioned attitudes towards children. They are afraid that things happen to them. We have researchers on this conference that say parents are so worried, but they don't have to be it. How can we teach parents to be more brave and let the children be outdoors by themselves?